What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez, back with another prize picks video for you. Today is still Friday, March 24th, 2023, and we still have 10 games going on in the NBA. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. In a traditional final look video format, we're gonna get into some comments, your question that you were that you left in the comment section of the early look and research video. Do my best to cover those as well as um, build out a six pick flex. Some of the plays that I was originally looking at, looking at either got taken off the board or got bumped up, but we'll cover all that in this video. And then by the end of this video, we will have one six pick flex constructed and we'll uh, place it here I don't want to say live. I'll do it in real time, but by the time you see it, it won't be live anymore. So with that being said, and without further delay, let's jump into your comments and questions for today. All right. So first question I want to cover is from Joran, and he asked about Denny Avija's point prop. We had it at 13 and a half. It was sitting there for a while, got bumped up to 14. Uh, let's take a quick look at this. While we're on the prize picks board, let's pull up Denny Avija's 14 point prop. Now, I'm not going to go into super detail over why I like the point prop to begin with because you know all that. We covered all that in the early look video. But in terms of it being bumped up to 13 and a half, just keep in mind, or excuse me, bumped up to 14, just keep in mind that he needed 14 points in the first place in order for him to hit this prop. Unless you feel like he was only going to score 14 points then I still would take the over on this one because when you take this type of prop, there's no way to land on the half. They have to give you a whole number. 14 was gonna be the minimum he needed in order for him to pass this up. So even if he only hit 14 points today, he would still hook it or not even hook it. He would still just meet it and uh, it wouldn't crush or kill your, uh, your flex lineups or your power plays for that matter. So I would go ahead and take the more on this one for Danny Avija. Second question is from Sunny Lotus Flower. And uh, the question was about Denny Avija again, but with the uh, points and rebounds, just to add a bit of insurance. So uh, taking notice that Price Picks has already bumped this to 14. So if we take a look at Denny Avija's points and rebounds, then we can see uh, a different prop, a different way to go with his, uh, with his in increased role tonight. So pulling up the same game log we did from this morning, we can see Avija's numbers over the past two games in terms of his points and rebounds sit at 25 and 24. Now, both of these games are played without Kyle Kuzma. Let's go ahead and remove Kuzma from all this and remove Bradley Beal from all this as well. And we can see that this season, Denny Avija only has two games played without these guys on the floor. And he's just right at 50% in those two games. It's not a great sample size, to be honest with you. One of those games was against Cleveland. Not the easiest matchup. We talked about the friendly matchup versus San Antonio tonight. Denver, he put up 24 points and rebounds. But check this out. So if we go back to his points, they're already up at 14. So he needs 15 to hit this. And then his rebounds prop, over on props.cash shows seven and a half. Let's confirm that bumped up to eight. So now he needs a total of 23 to hit this. He needs 22 when you combine them here. I say this looks like an excellent play. If you were a little weary of playing his points that got bumped up, I would say then definitely you can look to his points and rebounds here because this is in a it is at a discount basically and he's got the friendly matchup and he's going to have the increased role to get it done tonight versus the san antonio spurs all right before i move forward with the rest of the video I want to take a few seconds to give a quick shout out to some new members we have michael k948 cj the goat tay witten and shane porter can't forget about ray cruz who was the first uh first one to sign up become a member of the channel so thank you all so very much for your support all right 
This uh, wasn't an actual question. It was just a comment. Somebody, uh, Dimitri, uh, commented that he missed the old intro music. Yeah, I do too. Listen, uh, the website that I use for the royalty-free music is called thematic.com. And unfortunately, that particular song, it was called Abstract. And it was uh, one of my favorite intro songs that, I, that I've heard since trying to like, you know, look for intro music. And it got pulled off the website, unfortunately. So I had to remove it from, you know, future videos unless I wanted to pay like copyright fees, which I don't. So I chose another song from the same artist, but it just it just doesn't have that same hit. It didn't have the same feeling. Um, I'm on the I'm on the lookout for you know another song that you know brings it much like the original intro music. If you guys know of any uh, website that provides awesome royalty free music, please drop a comment and let me know what that is. I'm always on the lookout for making improvements to the video structure and the, uh, the, the overall quality. So moving on, let's talk a little bit about, um, let's talk a little bit about a six pick flex today. So much like yesterday, let's start off with the two plays that we talked about earlier today. And it's gonna be Denny Avija. But now that, um, now that we got some, you know, some information over his points and rebounds, those look really strong too. So, Pulling up his points and rebounds, I think for this six pick flex, we'll go over, we'll go with his points and rebounds versus his points. And then our second play was Jabari Smith over 13 and a half points today versus the Memphis Grizzlies. So those were those two players are our core players. We're gonna build around them. So four additional plays added to these will be uh, our six pick flex. Trying to figure out where to start with the four plays. I have some players in mind, but the way lines have been bumping up throughout the morning, it, it you never know. Like by the end of this video, I know that something's gonna get bumped up or taken off the board like we saw yesterday. So again, just making sure if you see a pick you like, lock it up, lock it up for sure. So uh, scrolling through the comment section, I came across a, a really cool comment from Tommy Durrell. Uh, and he mentioned the Jalen Brown rebounds prop, which I really like. That was set at five and a half. It was getting huge, huge juice to the over. Now it's been bumped up to six, but I had a feeling it was gonna get bumped up. So I pulled up some numbers with the prop set to six and everything still looked good. So let's take a quick look at that. Over on props.cash, we can see minus 140 to go over five and a half rebounds. This line was bound to bump up. So if you jumped on it at five and a half, good on you. But Pushing it to six, we can still see that Jalen Brown has had a lot of success with this prop. Um, well, I shouldn't say a lot of success, but he's averaging six rebounds over his last five, six over his last 10. Checking out his rebound totals at home, 50% hit rate. And then specifically versus Indiana, one game at home versus Indiana, grab 10 boards. If we just filtered this to all, we can see that he's averaging basically 10 boards a game versus this Indiana team who ranks at the bottom, ranks in the bottom of the NBA, I should say. Number 27 overall in rebounds allowed, 30th in offensive rebounds allowed, and in versus shooting guards, almost dead last. So this looks like a, a strong, sl a solid play to add to the two plays that we have already. So let's go ahead and put Jalen Brown in this six pick flex. Thank you so much, Tommy, for that for that nugget. All right, so let's uh, let's pull up a point prop that I like that did get bumped up, but I still like it. 21 and a half points for Klay Thompson versus the Philadelphia 76ers. So pulling up Klay Thompson's 10 game log at home, we can see that he's averaging 26 on 26 points over his last five, 29 over his last 10. His most recent game uh, against Phoenix, he put up 38. Not most recent home game against Phoenix, he put up 38 points. One thing that I found by scrolling through what other guards have done versus this Philly defense, the combination of the backcourt of Chicago back on the 20th combined for 90 points against Philly and the Rosen and Levine combined for 51. So half of that is 25, roughly 26. I think we could be looking at a game like that for, for Clay Thompson tonight for sure. This does not scare me at all because if you watch the games and really pay attention to these games versus the box score or versus these numbers, you can see that a lot of a lot of teams, a lot of backcourts are having success versus Philadelphia. 
I don't think James Harden and Tyrese Maxey are considered top defenders in this league. At least I don't think they are. So everything looks good for the over here, even though with the bump again, yes, at 21, he could have just given you 21 and that would have, you know, met, met the prop and it wouldn't have counted as a loss. Now he needs 22 points. But again, unless you felt like Clay was only going to score 21 points tonight, uh, you know, he needs to give you 22 in order for this to hit. So for me, nothing changes unless you wanted to play the under on this. This gives you a little bit of cushion, but we're going more on Clay Thompson's 21 and a half points tonight. Okay, so those are our four plays so far. Let's uh, let's talk about Walker Kessler versus uh, Milwaukee tonight. Points, rebounds, and assists got bumped up from 23 and a half to 24. I still like this for him, mainly because there's no there's no marking in tonight. And um, like I mentioned in the previous video, that dude is a ball hog. And without him on the floor, those shots have to go somewhere. Do I think all the extra shots go to Walker Kessler? Absolutely not. But you know, when a star player is out multiple players have to step up to fill the void. Walker Kessler is one of them. Doesn't have the greatest matchup on paper, but really we're just focusing on the opportunity that presents itself because there is no marketing in tonight and there is no Jordan Clarkson tonight. Over his last 10 games, only two games played without either without Clarkson and marketing and Walker Kessler fell under his point rebounds and assist prop in both of these games trying to see if he got into foul trouble in any of these games not really this line still looks very appealing to me without marketing without clark without clarkson in the lineup um, i still like what i see here whether you toggle his splits from home or toggle it to just show home games or all games you're still looking at a 50 percent hit rate for walker kessler one thing that i'm trying to get better at do uh at doing is playing guys after a bad game. If I picked them and they didn't perform well, they underperformed, going right back to them, you typically see a bounce back the next game after a poor performance. We can try to see if we spot anything like that here. So subpar game versus the Spurs, bounces back, bad game, bounces back three times in a row, bad game, bounces back two in a row, not the best games for him. This could be a nice little bounce back spot for Walker Kessler versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And even if this game gets out of hand, I don't see how you pull Walker Kessler being that you're already down two starters in this lineup. I think he sees plenty of floor time as long as he stays out of foul trouble. That's the only thing you worry about with big, big centers versus uh versus the Milwaukee Bucks staying out of foul trouble. So for now, let's go ahead and add Walker Kessler in there. 24 PRA. All right, and for the final play, staying in the same game, I'm gonna look to Drew Holiday. 17 and a half points, liking the over on this one. Over Holiday's last 10 games, we can see that there is a 50% hit rate. Now, Chris Middleton is not available for tonight's game. So let's go ahead and remove Middleton from this and we can see what these numbers look like from 50 percent to 70 percent looks real good for drew holiday averaging 18 over his last five 22 over his last 10 that no middleton in the lineup really changes things for him and his um and his points without middleton in the lineup drew is averaging 15 shots per game over five and 17 over his last 10. compare that to when middleton is available you're looking at 10 and 12 huge increase just a just a better all-around role for uh for drew holiday versus a utah defense who's hemorrhaging points um 23rd in the league and points allowed 26th in the league in defense versus the shooting guard and all this is not that great either so for a six pick flex i really like this for drew holiday i i briefly flirted with the idea of trying to create a small correlation between him and maybe Giannis but or brooke lopez but i didn't want to get too cute with this for a six pick flex sticking with our two main guys here changing it from points to points and rebounds for denny avija gonna stick with the point total for jabari smith still liking the prop over jalen brown's rebounds even though it got bumped same thing with clay thompson here got bumped to 21 and a half and then walker kessler's 24 
points, rebounds, and assists. I can definitely see this one being bumped within the next few hours. I've already locked in a six pick flex earlier. I've exercised my protected play. So for this one, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it at a small amount. $5.30 equals eight. You know my superstition here. Got, got our picks here. Let's go ahead and place this entry before something changes. And boom, there you go. There you go. There's our six pick flex for the day. And in case you're wondering why my credit is so low, I made a nice little withdrawal this morning. And if you have questions about how to withdraw your cash from your credit, I'm gonna create a really short video on some, um, you know, basically a how-to video, how to withdraw your, your, your cash from prize picks properly. So be on the lookout for that. If that's something that you are interested in, drop a comment below letting me know. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's final look video. We created a nice six pick flex. We went over questions that you had and then uh, we acknowledged our new members in the, com in the community. So again, thank you all for the continued support, the likes, the subs, all the comments and truly just helps this channel get a bit bigger every single day. If you haven't done so already on your way out, if you're up to it, go ahead and drop a like, a sub. And click that notification icon so that you're notified and, and alerted of all upcoming videos and content for me and my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And until tomorrow's early look and research video, best of luck to you all. Chavez is